Anyways, gamers, welcome back to Mario RPG Masters. I'm, I'm keeping my eyes out to see if there's any bots this morning. Because <laughs> uh, we've, we've been kind of having a bot renaissance on Twitch again recently. They, they found new ways to break through our, um, you know, our, our barricades, let's just say. So, I'm keeping an eye out. And we're gonna just keep adding on to the list of terms that we can block <laughs> on on Twitch. Because uh, no one likes bots. And if you advertise shit, you're getting the death sentence from me personally. So, anyways, we're gonna continue our journey. Um, I did say I was gonna attempt Jinx 2. Because I don't know how long this episode is gonna be. I mean, how many items do I even have? Um... You know, now that I re realized... Did I- did I beat his first phase already? I made sure to say after that, right? Well, regardless, um... Oh yeah, I do, because I have Star Winds. That's what I was using against him. Okay. We're all good. So he's starting out with Quicksilver, which is, um, a scary move to start out with. So this is why we have Star Wind. Get a freebie. That freebie is very nice, honestly. So I think Jinx is, like, the actual super boss in this game. <laughs> Jinx, Jinx has, um, a lot of health. I dropped too early again. Wow. <laughs> that is a lot of damage, though. Alright, let's do the funny cosmic star, which takes forever to do. I was kind of focusing a lot on this attack last time, but I want to try and talk during it, so it's at least a little more interesting to watch. <laughs> Um, so I had, I had a weird problem with Shot Cut last night. So I'm trying to render the finale of Paper Jam right now. It's actually ongoing uh, processing as I'm talking. And I'm trying to finish it, right? And I'm also playing Paper Jam in the background, because I'm grinding for my eventual Dry Bowser um, fight. Which, by the way, that'll probably be this week or next week. I haven't decided yet. Probably gonna be sometime at the end of August or September. But either way, that's the last thing I have to work on. Also, uh, yeah, I think I could use some therapy after that. I got abused really hard. Uh, and I also did a run through of um, the battle ring last night, and uh, it was a little too easy. So, I'm going to be, I'm gonna be, uh, probably not grinding anymore, because I'm too overpowered for it. So, yeah. By the way, I looked at Jinx's HP, he has 25,000 health. So, in case you wanted to know how much he has, that's how much he has. So you can thank me and having Lazy Shell still for that. Pretty good. <laughs> I think I still find it very interesting how triple kick. Actually, a lot of a lot of Jinx moves in general, they have a thing going on where you um sometimes you get like heavy knockback and other times you don't. Also, that still does a lot of damage even when I mess up the timing. Kind of interesting. All right, I think it's time for a star egg. My keyboard's kind of in the way. I'm gonna put my keyboard a little to the side here. I know you guys can't see my keyboard, though. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I'm definitely getting better at it. Not, not, not better enough to get the 30 hits, but I'm definitely getting better. <laughs> Considering I'm doing like 800 consistently or so. Anyways, as I was talking about, I start rendering Paper Jam while I'm in the middle of playing Paper Jam, and I guess, I don't know exactly what happened, but my computer got, like, confused or something, or Shotcut got confused. And since I was using, like, too much power at a time, uh, it kept resetting the fucking rendering process. And I was like, well, fuck, that's not good. How am I gonna get the finale, um, like, uploaded if it's gonna keep doing that? And what I decided to do was I decided to just wait until, like, I'm ready to go to bed. Then I decided to start the rendering process, and I wake up, and it's, like, half done, so... It, it seems to be fine now. I don't think it's gonna reset. I could jinx it. I <laughs> get because we're fine jinx. But it, it's almost done. It's at, like, 80% now. <laughs> I mean, I could check on it once he's done attacking. <laughs> so I don't think it's gonna reset in the middle of my stream. So I'm checking right now. It's at 85. So, yeah, it's, it's it says it has, like, two hours left, so... For all I know, it might even finish by the time I'm done with the stream, which would be nice, because then, that brings me to my next point, um, I want, I'm finished, finally finished, the Toho 6 death compilation. <laughs> it took me a few months of hard work, but after going through all of my 11 Toho 6 streams and compiling the deaths together, I finally finished editing um, the highlights, which is great. Um, so, that's good. I can finally get the, these videos off my hard drive after all this time. You know, to be honest, it's tempting to get Peach out of my party and just replace her with, um, Eno or something. Because I don't really have much of a need for healing anymore because of the fact that, you know, I have the Star Egg, so I can just instantly heal whenever I want. So Peach has kind of, you know, outlasted her usefulness, if that makes sense. Yeah, so the fact that this guy has 25 fucking thousand HP means I'm gonna have to do this damn star move, like, 15 times, probably. <laughs> We can check how much health he has after this. I mean, her, her healing is nice, though, but I would prefer to have someone like Gino who can dish out a crap ton of damage. Would be pretty nice, honestly. I also practiced my Mega Thwonk timing because I figured out what I was doing wrong with Mega Thwonk. I was pressing the button too fast. <laughs> That's why Luigi kept on, like, stumbling. So, that- it turns out that's what was causing, um, me to fuck up the attack so much. So I, I practiced it a bit last night before I, uh, played Danganronpa 2 with my wife. And I finally got, um, I finally think I got the hang of Mega Thwonk. <laughs> so... Mega Thwonk, you're gonna see a much more consistent Mega Thwonk when I decide to do the Battle Ring. Although, I might still fuck it up every now and then, because, you know, that's... That's just kind of how the move goes. Sometimes you just... You can't focus enough to keep the rhythm going. You know, you can't be like Shulk and get a good rhythm going. Sometimes you're bound to fuck it up every now and then, which happens. Like how I can... How I sometimes make fuck-ups in the Paper Mario randomizer. But that shit also happens sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I think I got capped there. I mean, 1700 health is nothing to slouch at, though. And that's like a tenth of his health, almost. No, not really a tenth. <laughs> a little less than that. It's like, I don't know, a thirtieth, maybe? But yeah, I am curious how much Gina would do, Jinx. Or Jackie. I don't know, I like calling him Jackie. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm getting... At least I'm getting the consistent, like, 15 super jumps. Okay, he's, he's, he's 
He's definitely getting closer to death because he did he just did fucking Quicksilver and wasted my turn. Thanks, Jinx, Jackie, Jack off. Oh, dropped it way too early there. I love that he randomly just gets like two turns, just because he can. Okay. Um, I have just enough for a data drain, so we can see how much health he has left. Um, 14,000? That is about halfway, almost. <laughs> Well, we need to heal anyway, so that's what the star egg is for. I always love how my Super Mario RPG team, the turn order is always, like, right to left, and not the usual left to right. I mean, I keep jump dropping that too early. Now I'm, now I'm overestimating the timing. Well, it's got another, like, 1400 damage off on him. Especially considering he's immune to all the effects of the Galaxy Blast, I imagine. You know what, that would actually be a great Paper Mario mod. Someone should put Jinx into Paper Mario. Kinda like how they did the complete opposite for Armageddon, where they put the Master in Armageddon. Next, they should put um, Jinx into Paper Mario. I'd love to see that. If that's not a mod already, I, I would like to see that. <laughs> I don't need credit for that one either. I'm just throwing ideas out there. But it, it is pretty cool. There's gotta be someone who's working on that, right? I mean, because I keep seeing all these fat guy, like, boss videos. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is really good. 1700. Alright, don't do it too late. I usually do it when, like, Mario's foot lines up with the enemy. Well, that wasn't it, clearly. <laughs> yeah, triple kick. Oh. Mallow's fucking dead again. Actually, this is a good- this is actually a good reason to have Peach, is because I can use Wishing Star over and over again. See, now... This is one instance where I say the remake definitely shines better, because if you don't need Peach at that moment in time, you can switch out to a stronger character like Geno or Bowser. Ah, uh, dropped it too early again. I'm um, See, I'm focusing too much on trying to get the super jump time, or I'm trying to get the 30 jumps now, that it's kind of screwing me over. And I definitely shouldn't be doing that. Like, who cares about the 30 jumps? I'm just trying to... I'm just trying to play the game, bro. <laughs> I did have the attack scar for Kulex, though, the remake, which definitely helped a lot. Every bit of, uh, every stat matters. Oh, boy. Honestly, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do after I finish the Toho highlights and get it uploaded, though. If I finish, I mean render it and then upload and make a thumbnail for it. <laughs> it's been a while since I had a nice long video on my highlights channel. <laughs> it's gonna be- it's- it's 40- it's like 48 minutes, by the way. I couldn't make it any shorter. <laughs> That's just genuinely how many deaths there are in that- in that series. I wonder if Toho, um... I wonder if Toho 7 will fare any better. That's what I'm wondering about. Toho 7 might fare a little better, because I got better at Toho, so I'm not dying as much. That was pretty good. That was a pretty good super jump. I don't know exactly how the damage calculation works on that move, by the way. Like, 
How much more damage does it add per jump, is what I'm wondering. Also, I remember I made this really, really stupid Jinx 3 fight when I was a kid. Where every time you attack him, he does bombs away and you have to perfect guard it or else you die. And also his battle, his battle background is changed to Final Smithy's background. So he's like the ultimate Jinx and he has like 99,000 health or something. Thought something stupid like that. And I think I also made him heal himself a lot. So it was like the tro like the most trolliest Jinx fight of all time. I mean, that was pretty foony, though, I gotta say. Because e editing um, enemy scripts in this game is pretty easy, actually. Oh, there's another 1700 damage, just like that. Alright, uh, yeah, let's group hug again. I'm gonna need to heal. I'm gonna need to heal next turn. That's kinda shitty, honestly. I need to heal already. This is where the star egg comes in handy, man, I'm telling you what. Also, I find it- I, find, I also finished watching, um, Bringle's TTYD remake playthrough. So, that's another good thing. So now I have to watch Nintendo Capri Sun's TTYD remake playthrough. <laughs> There's a lot of TT- I think that's the last TTYD remake playthrough I have to watch. So after that... Um, it's- I'm- I'm gonna be done watching people play TTYD Remake. <laughs> Unless someone else that I know starts doing it. But I've watched all the YouTubers play it. Like, Fat Guy, Cappy, JDAster, Bringle. And then, now Nintendo Capri Sun. I think that's it. So I've watched like, five full playthroughs of that game now. <laughs> He's gotta be close, right? He's at least in quadruple digits now. Two thousand. Oh, he's almost dead, actually. Oh man, I should have done a cosmic rain then. Or yeah, the cosmic star. I meant. Boom. I'm surprised he isn't, um, using Valor Boost. He normally would have by now, but I think- I think his script's a bit weird when it comes to that. Oh, well, he's still going for the triple kick. Alright, um... Let's just go for it. That's a bad- that was a bad idea, son. <laughs> Are you losing, son? I don't know if I want to do Jinx 3 right now, because it's already been like 20 minutes. This fight's taken a while. But let's- let's try and kill him. He's very close to dead. Probably forgot to change the value on when he uses Valor Boost or something. Very possible. Yep, he's dead. Okay, that was Jinx 2, which is very doable. So, should I do Jinx 3? <laughs> that is a really tough question. Because I, I, am, I am able to do it right now. But, here's the thing. Jinx 3 has 37,500 health. And it's gonna take probably like 30 minutes alone to do that fight. So, I'm thinking, honestly, we should just go to Bowser's Keep and do that today. I think maybe Bowser's Keep will be long enough that it'll be its own episode. I think the factory might have to wait. And fuck these guys, I'm not fighting them. I'll fight the Goombas instead. Wait, they got the- wait, the alley rats from earlier in the game are back. Oh, he has fangs, and he, he attacks with his tail. That makes a lot of sense. Alright, let's, let's do Icy Snowman. A 
Let's see how much this does. Yes, Goombas. Oh, of course the Goombas have fucking Carney Kiss. One of the worst attacks ever. <laughs> Alright, let's just do Star Egg to be safe. Maybe I should take Geno out then. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I mean, at this point in the game, Galaxy Blast isn't really that great anymore. <laughs> yeah, and it's really annoying because you can't block that shit either. Man, yeah, Peach is gonna die at this point. Yeah, Peach is fucking dead. The monster's mute. Are you telling me there's more to these monsters after? Okay, well, I do have some 1-ups left. Honestly, I'm tempted to go buy more after this. How many do I have left? That's yeah, like, seven. Kinda wishing Peach learned her, um, her final spell already. Her Psych Bomb. Because that would make her pretty useful. No, <laughs> you're not doing that. Okay, I guess you are doing that. These damn rats, man, I tell you. Hmm. Mallow's almost dead already. Do these guys count like a counterattack? Yeah, they sure do. They sure do counter a lot. Man, these guys are strong as hell. They just, they just keep going. They never stop. <laughs> they just get turn after turn over and over until you're, like, screwed. Oh my god, how is Peach not dead? <laughs> how is she not dead yet? I don't know, man. This endgame is, uh... This endgame's tough, man. Okay, I might have the Star Egg again, because Peach is almost dead. Maybe having Bowser out would be a good idea, because I can get rid of the Goombas. Unless that's gone, I don't know. Poison. <laughs> you have Cleave as well? Oh my god. I need, to get, I need to get good at my perfect guarding. There we go. Okay, now we can actually Icy Snowman again. Each individual battle... If each, if each individual battle is going to take this long... Oh my god. Okay. We, we got all rid of all the enemies, at least. So now we can Galaxy Blast. And you know what? This guy's probably weak to Super Flare, if I had to guess. Because I made my Mario, like, very magically based, so... His magic attacks are actually really good. I mean, it's alright. <laughs> I mean, it's alright. You gotta be weak to Smite, too. Oh yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> They only dropped a, a, a frickin' red shroom. <laughs> That's terrible. I could give her a bit of physical defense. Kinda need that. Healing rain. There we go. Well, here's the thing, if I wanna if I wanna have Gino out, I'd need to um give him some good some good equipment. I haven't bought him anything recently. So to be honest, maybe I should buy him something. Okay, we'll, we'll switch switch him back out just in case. Actually, if anything, I should probably give him the experience booster, right? Or whatever partner I don't have out, I should give them the experience booster so they get levels quickly. So that would probably be a good idea. 
Just just stock up my entire inventory with one-ups. Alright, so let's get the experience boost here. And we'll give that. I'll 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 uh, give it to Peach. We're gonna switch the diamond ring around. Give her the experience booster so she can get a bunch of experience while she's not in. And then as for the armor, uh I'll probably just give her the metal spirit. I'll swap it around. Yeah. Because Mallow is the fastest um, party member right now. Yeah, the twin the twin punches can't be his best weapon right now. There has to be a better one that I've missed. I think it's the handgun. Handgun is the best weapon for him right now. At least until he gets the star gun, because the star gun's the actual best one. So let me do that. And then I'll also buy some 1-ups while I'm here. So I think, honestly, honestly, I think it'd be better if I just do Bowser's Keep today. Because Bowser's Keep takes a little while. Oh, the arm cannon, yeah. And also the spiked link for Bowser, which I don't have any reason not to buy. We might as well get them their best weapons for right now. Sell the old stuff. Maybe sell the bunny hood, I don't know. Since the feather's just better. So yeah, buy bunny hood, I don't need you anymore. I don't need the trooper pin. And I think that's good. I'll keep this old stuff, just in case. Don't need red shroom, that's for sure. Oh, well, you know what? I forgot to, um... I forgot to... Um... I forgot to go to Great Guy's Casino and mess around there. I wonder if I should get Star Winds or not. I feel like I should get more, but I'm not sure. Just because they're basically an all-party Chino boost. Which is really broken. <laughs> not yeah, let's go get some more. And drink some more, and drink some more. Although I am glad. I am glad that the end game is, you know, very challenging. We just don't need flowers anymore. Flowers are pretty useless. And there's also one more thing I'm curious about in Monster of Town. First of all, I'm gonna double check my jumps again. Let's see if I maybe somehow managed to one the attack scarf. So it's still 29. But one thing I'm wondering out is maybe this is the hack that adds the reward for getting all the surprise boxes. <laughs> there are still one left. The last one. By the way, guess where that last treasure is? It's in fucking it's in the fucking factory. Honestly, I don't expect him to add a gift, but. That is such a, like, me thing. That's such a, that's something I added into my hack. I don't even think it was that good. It was just, like, a fun little accessory you get for, um, getting everything. Okay, so now... Now I think we're all decked out. Let's just check my stats. Um... 172... 99... 99... Oh man, look at, uh, look at, look at Mallow's magic defense, by the way. Everybody's defense is, like, okay. Gino's defense is kind of lacking, but he does have 400 HP to make up for it. And also, he's heavily faster now, so... Let's put Gino first. Or at the bottom, rather. I'm just gonna avoid these guys. I'll fight a couple enemies, like, along the way. But, like, you know, I don't want to fight every single enemy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, these guys are really hurt. Okay, so we can try out Star Shower. I mean, it's not terrible. I think Galaxy Blast is better, honestly. Maybe it's just because I didn't charge it properly. 
We're gonna do Icy Snowman. We're gonna have, um, we're gonna have Mario use the Star Egg, because Mario's got the least good magic spells compared to everybody else. We need to hope that, we need to hope that, you know, Geno survives so I can even use it to begin with. Yeah. I probably didn't do the action command correctly. The monster is mute. I don't know, but that poison sure is annoying. So it's kind of interesting they moved the the alley rats to this dungeon. Oh, <laughs> the monster is still mute. All right, let's try star shower. I probably didn't hold it for long enough. Yeah, there we go. That's much better. It's like 500 damage. Zero. <laughs> Alright, then we do another snowman. I'm so glad they got rid of, like, the, um, Boreal text boxes, like, hold Y or mash the control pad. Really glad they got rid of that. That is a, that is a good quality of life change that speeds up the battles. Nice, okay. Star Egg again. I'd argue this loadout is easier because there's only four enemies, and one of them is just a heavy trooper that only attacks like every few turns. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that damage is way better. <laughs> Yeah, that, that, that loadout's a lot easier. I think Gino's definitely making this a lot easier. But, you know, it's fine. Okay, this loadout... This loadout looks unchanged. I think I recognize this one. Love that damage, man. I love that damage. I wasn't expecting him to do that. <laughs> oh yeah, Cosmic Star just attacks everybody. Mallow really is the goat of this. I think this is just better than Icy Snowman because it does neutral damage. All my, it does almighty damage. All right, how much does that do? Yeah, like 600. It's pretty good. <laughs> at least I'm good at blocking that. Okay, I think now is a good time to use the star egg. I'm just gonna keep using this thing. Did 45. <laughs> That's not very much. Well, I don't know what the monsters are trying to do, but they're mute, so it doesn't matter. Also, Raijin World. Is that still an instant KO, or is it just, you know, different? Whoa, Mama, that's some good, that's some good damage right there. Do these guys really just get counterattacks every time I use magic on them or something? If so, that's really stupid. <laughs> 444. I got the- I'm kind of getting the timing down for that. Are you guys still immune to jump, by the way? They are not immune to jump, and jump is actually pretty good against them. Let's try Raijin World. Didn't kill. 
It did decent damage, though, I'll, t I'll say that. Why am I trying to save FP? There's no FP to be saved. Just attack him, bro. This endgame's gonna take a lot longer because of the fact that these loadouts are really rough. <laughs> oh. Okay, this is this loadout is already slightly different because there's a four, there's an extra Goomba that wasn't here before. <laughs> and I hate that you have Carney Kiss. It's so annoying. <laughs> uh, I really need to heal Mario, so I'm gonna just do it. I'll suck it up, use the Galaxy Blast. He throws rocks still. comes. Oh my goodness. Why are you why are you guys so bullshit? <laughs> the monster's mute. How many more attacks do you need, bro? <laughs> How many more attacks do you need? I'm, I'm honestly surprised at how long this endgame might actually take. <laughs> There's not really any easy way around these enemies. Like, you have to fight them. Hey, yeah, I wonder how long the endgame took me in Armageddon. I don't remember. I don't remember what the endgame in that one was like. I just remember there was some BS involved, <laughs> probably. Some nice damage off. What the fuck? <laughs> That's a weird ass attack. Oh, and Gino's like basically dead now. Okay, he's not quite dead, but still. He's pretty close to dead. <laughs> okay, at least those guys are dead. The Goombas are definitely some of the biggest threats, oddly enough because of Carnicus, and you can't block Carnicus in this game. Okay, there you go. I mean, the experience we get is okay. At least Gino is, um, a higher level. Well, if anything, I should get more physical defense than... Because, uh... Yeah, alright, get a full heal, even though I don't really need the full heal. I also get, uh, get free money. It's like 200 coins right here, I think. Which, oh, 100, okay. Wait, there's two full heals, like, back to back. Alright, so does Croco have anything good? He has castle gear? <laughs> It prevents fear, it says. Now that is pretty good. Defense and magic defense up. I mean, if it says it prevents fear, that's pretty good. But this also gives him defense up. So I'm not sure. I'll, I'll have it just in case. You can also buy silver bars for no reason. I don't know, that's just kind of a joke item, I guess, that he has. Okay. Um, oh, I can't even carry any more shit. What's clogging up my inventory? Oh, all the star winds that I brought. Well, I don't think I need the shiny stone anymore. I probably don't need that many one-ups. Just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna get some shroom rains. Because you never know when those will come in handy. Those are almost always a good idea to have. Actually, let's swap out the Nimbus Vest for the Castle Gear on Mario. Because Mario definitely needs to not get feared, and not having to worry about fear on Mario is very nice. Especially since Mario's always gonna be there. 
Alright, well... Let's see how this goes. M there might be some saves coming involved. Who knows. <laughs> I'm guessing this is unchanged. <laughs> Get the, the frickin' Virtual Boy, obviously. Yeah, this is actually unchanged, okay. What color is the end of Dodo's beak? <laughs> oh, I forgot it's red, not yellow. <laughs> yes, I hate mowing the lawn on Sundays. <laughs> Oops, I'm stupid. I'm thinking of my ROM hack. <laughs> <laughs> Booster the eighth. They are they like bratwurst. Yeah, I love that one too. <laughs> oh well. Guess we're not doing door one. Actually, what is at the end of door one, anyways? Who knows? Anyways, we have the frickin' enemy gauntlet. Okay, this doesn't seem too bad, but who knows. Haven't heard this music in a while, actually. This, this loadout is going to be really annoying. Unless I can get the Terra Punch blocks. Like that. If I can get that, it won't be too bad, honestly. All right, nice 518. Well, I'm getting good at that. <laughs> just do just do perfect, perfect guards, and everything and everything goes okay. Okay, I did it a little too late there. Oh no. Fuck, now I'm, I'm messing it up. Oh no. Yeah, now we need to use the star egg already. <laughs> Mario Mario has taken on the healing duty that Peach was doing earlier. Because Gino and Mallow are just way stronger than him. Can't wait till I learn Geno Flash. Am I doing it too early now? Maybe? I think I'm doing it too early now. Well, um... Fuck, that means we gotta heal Mallow now. She took too much damage. I guess this is, an, a case, this is a case where the uh, sheep attack would come in handy. Why am I messing it up now? There we go. Well, they have no animation now. I keep using the galaxy blast. Double fuck. <laughs> er. Well, um, it's star egg time. <laughs> it's tail time. The thing is, only some of these loadouts are gonna be bad, because most of them are gonna be old loadouts. So I can actually deal with them just fine. But it's this first one that's gonna be a pain in the ass, because these fucking terracottas have so much health. They have like 3,000 health. Or something like that. Alright, I'm just gonna drop it. I wanna see what he does. Okay, they're dead. Good for experience, I guess. Mellow leveled up! Obviously, Peach is gonna be leveling up pretty damn quickly.
Okay. I mean, these guys aren't as bad. I can deal with the Orlicans. They're slightly less strong. I mean, they are real. They are from the last dungeon, so they're still kind of relevant. Well, shit, Mario's not immune to mushrooms still. And I don't have Peach out, so that's kind of a problem. Well, um, we don't have time to, we don't have time to worry about that, so let's just kill him. <laughs> At this rate, you might as well just kill Mario. I mean, Mario's kind of dead away anyways, so it's not a big deal. Also, why is the crab immune to ice? That's another good question. Well, there we go. Well, that still does 9,000. Oh, man. Gina might be better than I thought. Hey, leveled up! I'm gonna need the star egg soon, so I'm running out of FP. Hey, look, it's a sacket. So this, these guys don't do any damage anymore. Let's kill the big Bertha then. What? They're immune? What do you mean they're immune? Enemies can be immune to Geno World? <laughs> Oh. That's news to me. I like how there's just a bunch of enemies in this game that are like named after like war weapons. <laughs> you know, you have like the Orlikin, the Big Bertha. Oh, also, there's insta kills. Wait, that's not insta kill anymore? Huh. That's weird. Okay, d just do Star Shower then instead. The Bullet Bill Cannons, the Bill Blasters, they don't have very good magic defense. Just throw a Goomba at me, that'll do it. Um, unless I just have KO immunity or something. Which is also possible. You're also mean to ice for some reason. That's weird. Um, yeah, let's use the star egg to be safe. Even if it's just a heal for Mario. A heal is a heal, nonetheless. Yeah, I guess it's not an instant kill anymore. It's kind of weird. <laughs> I mean, I won't complain. But at least that guy's gone. Imagine if I had, like, you know, a 5% chance to instant kill. <laughs> it would be, like, the most dickish thing ever. So, um, how much health do you guys have? <laughs> That's a good question. That's what I want to know. You good? You, you done yet? You had fun already with your bullet bills? Okay. <laughs> good. <laughs> No level ups. Who's close to a level up anyway? Not really. Anybody here is close? 
we will heal. Chows. Chows are they're, they're pretty chill. Although I yeah, I, I definitely feel like these loadouts are a little bit tougher. Or maybe that's just my imagination. I mean there's a four key in here. <laughs> or four keys. Then they make it like they they got they dropped the whole plural thing in the remake. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh well, the chows are dead already. <laughs> so that's at least good. Is he mean to jump? No, he's not. Hit <laughs> that fucking funny ass noise. He's also immune. Why are all the enemies immune, bro? Also, do I need, don't I need to heal? Yeah, I need to heal my FP. To be fair, Geno Blast does cost a lot of FP. <laughs> Three oh one. You know, let's just try the arm cannon. That's not bad. Like the damage output is up it's okay. Let's see if Smite does anything. Nope, he's immune to thunder for some reason. And then he can he retaliates with a gas press. That's that's fucking nice. At least it didn't hear me. Hear me. I think all his shit ran out. Yeah, now he's doing, like, way more damage. His, uh... His defense... His lord defense must have run out or something. Isn't this when, like, the enemies get really easy now? <laughs> okay, never mind, because there's more alley rats. The alley rats are a threat. <laughs> I know some enemies aren't immune to Geno World. Thankfully, Icy Snowman takes really good care of the fire ants, at least. So, why do the fire ants get a unique sprite edit? Shit. Oh, and that was, a no that was your normal attack, okay. <laughs> It is a lot easier to tell that they're, like, ant soldiers in the remake, though. Like, you can way clearly more- you can way more clearly see their weapons and their eyes. So I just wanted to point that out as well. Yes, fangs with your tail. <laughs> Bro, still kicking. See, I think I will do Puyo Puyo 4 when I finish this game. I'm not gonna do it in, like, in the middle of it, because that's kind of weird. So, we might save that game. <laughs> I mean, that means hopefully I can finish this game before Friday. Blooper. Blooper. Okay, I mean, this loadout, this blow is pretty chill, honestly. Three bloopers aren't gonna hurt me, that's for sure. Shock Storm. Okay, I forgot they're weak. To, they're immune to mute for some fucking reason. <laughs> Man, I've seen that the monster is mute um, text more than any other playthrough I've ever done of this game. <laughs> it's kind of funny. The monster's mute. It's like four times in one turn, bro. The thing is, these enemies are so, like, tanky. Okay, so I can still do a Raijin World here. Well, not if you miss. Uh, 
There we go. Yeah, so now we're gonna have, like, kind of a streak of, like, easier battles. Just because of the fact that, um, you know, they... The game decides to put, a, like, a bunch of piss-easy enemies for no reason. I wouldn't call these guys easy, though. <laughs> oh, great. Now Gino's a fucking mushroom. What happened to all my status immunity stuff? I think Gino- I think Mallow's the only one immune to that stuff. I didn't bring enough, um, status healing stuff for this. <laughs> yeah, these guys ain't doing jack shit. Boy, I ain't fam shit. Yep, that was- okay, that was pretty easy, actually. Those guys have always been really weak in the original, though. Like, they have, like, 80 HP, which by land's end is kind of nothing, honestly. Okay, I mean, this slot out's a little stronger. Actually, never mind. They're only doing one damage. <laughs> Can I do Raijin Whirl on the Chain Pong? Yes, I can. That helps. And I'm out of FP. Great. <laughs> Gonna, just gonna jam out. <laughs> also, just just because I'm curious, I'm gonna reload my chat. Anything new? Nope. You know, what, let's just see how much a jump does. They're not like weak to jump. Psychoplasm. More like psycho knots. Got him. Yeah, I'm kinda glad I switched back to Gino, because Gino's definitely helping a lot here. Ooh, that was some good damage. Yeah, these 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 most of these loadouts are very unchanged. Not sure what's up with that. And then we got another we got another four sets of battles here. Featuring Bob Bombs. The Bob Bombs that are way too easy by this point in the game. Now they just want an excuse to use Big Bertha two more times. <laughs> because you're gonna be seeing that enemy a lot. Like, there's a shit ton of big Berthas after you, after you fight Cody. Blazer. Blazer! <laughs> you know, maybe, maybe the Bill Blasters are just a really big fan of schoolgirl uniforms. Because they keep talking about Blazers. <laughs> Although, I am very grateful you can block that shit in the remake. Makes dealing with these twats a lot less, uh, annoying. I think Gino's dead. Yep. Well, they kept targeting him, so whatever. Root beer. That's what it always sounded like to me. It always sounded like it was saying, root beer. Two seventy-seven. Keep going for the star shower, because that's the way to end this fight fast. They're still not dead, for some freaking reason. So you leave me no choice, I have to star egg again! <laughs> you know, I think I did something similar with the star egg in one of my hacks where I made the star egg do a full heal. I mean, I'm sure that's not an original idea or anything, but yeah. 
just figured I'd bring that up. I just could have sworn I've done that before. Oh, we got Vomers. Vomer, Vomer. Oh, well, this, this loadout's done. <laughs> this is probably the easiest loadout yet. Easiest loadout you're ever gonna see in this game. <laughs> probably. <laughs> Like, that's easier than the Goombas I had to fight at the start of the game. Okay, and we also have Magmus. These enemies are fun. You know what, let's try Ice Blast. Oh, wow. They're already dead, bro. They they really did not have that much health. <laughs> for, late for, like, late game enemies. Alright, let's see if a Cosmic Star can kill these guys. Yup, that killed them. <laughs> Migraine! And you missed. Oh, I missed! Very good, Gino leveled up again. That's what we like to see here. Anyways, because of that nonsense, we gotta use the healing rain again. So I think this is the last one. It's the box boy. Monsters are inside. Oh, sorry, Chester, not box boy. Box boy is the black chest. Oh, star boost affects everybody? And it heals? Damn, I had no idea it was that good. Oh, I remember doing that. Yeah, I did that a lot in my, um, my hack. I made the hammers have hammer time. Yeah, I'm gonna star egg, just because I took a lot of unnecessary damage. So, Geno is an infinite source of galaxy blasts, then. Man. <laughs> Could he be any more overpowered? Whoa. Also, I forgot he can do that. Oh no. Um. Uh, Star Egg again. Might need to do like a Galaxy Blast or something. Oh, well, if I wasn't feared already, I'm definitely feared now. Let's do good old Galaxy Blast. I don't know how much health the Pounder has, but... Oh, Mallow is fucking dead. Yeah, he's not surviving that. Rip Mallow. Good thing we have these 1-ups, then. Ultima? Jesus Christ! When did he get that move? And also, apparently Gino is asleep? Holy fuck, he has Ultima. That's a scary ass move. I don't like that. <laughs> Shit, where'd my star egg go? <laughs> That's a new move. That's a brand new move. To the game, Ultima. I mean, it's a re it's a reskinned um, flame wall, but still, I would not have survived that if it wasn't for the defense. Yeah, please don't do that again. <laughs> I, I kind of need, I kind of need to, you know, keep my composure. I thought I was immune to fear. What the fuck, game? Mm -hmm. 
first. Did I not just put the thing on Mario that makes him immune to fear? Why the fuck is it going through my fear? This game makes no fucking sense, bro. <laughs> also, let me try sleepy time. I don't think they're... I don't think they can be put to sleep. I mean, maybe it's a maybe it's, maybe it's a visual bug. But I don't know. I thought I was a, I thought I was immune to fear, bro. Galactic blast? Didn't that also put a bunch of? Oh my god, Mario's fucking dead again. I might need to do another Galac- I might need to do another, um... Yeah, Star Wind. We bought these for a reason. That's some good damage. Um, <laughs> yeah, keep do keep doing star boost. Because that, that heal is very helpful. And Gino's almost dead already, so we're gonna heal him. There goes, like, half his health. <laughs> Mostly gonna be Mario doing the heavy lifting here with his super jump. Yeah, I'm I'm dead ass feared, even though I'm not supposed to be feared. That makes no fucking sense, bro. This game's rigged. How do I get fear when I have the a thing that nulls fear? Like, come on. Just like I'm supposed to be nulling out effects with some of my equipment, but I get like a hit with effects anyways. Mal seems to be the only one like, who, like, he's actually immune to it. Actually, yeah, let's, let's do a, let's do a data drain. Let's see how much health he has left. 8,000. Oh man, this is gonna take a sec. Yeah, that is... that is inexcusable. <laughs> it is so inexcusable, the fact that I keep getting feared. Um, let's do a star shower, because why not? Nope. Okay, you can stop doing that, bro. I kind of wish this cured uh, statuses too, you know, that would make the star egg even better. It's gonna take a while, because this guy keeps spamming frickin' earthquake and shit. Even though I'm supposed to be immune to fear, which makes no fucking sense, bro. Starstorm. Oh shit. That's rough. That's not good. Can't be dying to that either. Well, if Mal is the only one who's immune to fear right now, then we should have him use a cosmic star. Because that'll be that'll be where most of my damage comes in from. Yeah, 
Yeah, now I'm just now I'm just focused. I'm kind of in go mode. Oh yeah, much better. Let's see how much a normal jump does. 390. Oh, there it There's the other earthquake. Yeah, so I think I think Malo's gonna be the one that has to end this battle. And who knows when that frickin' pounder is gonna go away. Let's find out when he's gonna go away. <laughs> Wham bam slam. Okay, do a galaxy blast then. <laughs> Yeah, that does fuck all. 190. Oh, he's doing Star Storm again. That's not good. No! Get a freebie. Okay, we have the Star Egg now. And we have to Geno boost as well because we lost our buffs. Honestly, at this point, I just kind of have to hope that Chester runs out of FP. <laughs> if he runs out of FP, this fight's over, but still. Bro, he's doing it again! Get out of here with that. Appreciate if you stop it at targeting Gino, bro. Ow. I'm um, keep my eye to deal with all of these pounders in the factory too. Right, your life depends on this cosmic star doing everything. Keep at it. Keep, keep keep going. Keep it up. Move your body. Alright, whatever. I'm bored. <laughs> I got bored of that. Okay, the pounder's gone. And Mario's dead. That's uh, also pretty cool. Oh, are we dead? Are we dead? Oh, shit. That's not good. I kind of need Mario alive, please. Freebie's very welcome there. Okay, I guess we're going for a star boost again. That could have really easily ended me. Alright, heal up. Everybody needs to heal now. Okay, this, this battle did get a little easier now, though, because of the fact that the calendar is gone. So I do respect that. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> Honestly, it's Cosmic Star is the only way we're going to be able to win this. There's nothing else doing damage. Yep. Alright, um, I guess just do a super jump. Because you're only source of damage right now. Actually pretty decent. Oh, bye Mallow. <laughs> bye. Wait, he lived. 
Oh, he's gonna die from the earthquake now. Wait, he lived that too. Damn, Mallow is the goat, seriously. Mallow can tank just about anything. Kinda reminds me of how randomly Punchinello has Earthquake for no reason. Like, he's, a, he's not really a spellcaster, yet he has Earthquake for some reason. Alright. And Gino is dead. Great. <laughs> Love when he retaliates with frickin' Carney Kiss. So annoying. I mean, at least he didn't do, um... At least he didn't do, uh, Earthquake again. Right, yeah, just keep doing this. This is the way to win. You gotta be dead soon. I'm gonna jump on you. There we go. Thank God. That fight was so bad. <laughs> I got 94 experience. Well deserved, honestly. Let's give everybody a physical level up this time. Very good. Oh my god, how long is it? We're really going for almost an hour and 20. We've barely gotten anything done. We got the Exor ring? The fuck is that? Oh my god. Magic attack 85? Magic defense 85? Oh my god. Hold up. Those all effects and elements. Give. Wait, what can I give that to? Wait, I can't give it to anybody. Wait, what? Huh? Hello? Why can't I give this to anybody? I'm confused. Is there is there like a, a hidden party member or something? Why can't I equip this weapon this accessory? Hello? Hold up. Well, first of all, I'm gonna save state. Second of all, I need to look at, um... Also, my fucking mouse is gone. I need to look at Lazy Shell. Come on, this can't be right. Why doesn't this ring work? I think, uh, I think my video is almost done rendering. It's at 95%, okay. It's getting close to finishing. I need to look at this. Is this XOR ring broken? Where is it? The XOR ring. It can't be worn by anyone. What? Did he forget to assign it to somebody? I might, you know what, actually? I might have to edit this. I might have to edit this ROM and make it so that someone can wear this. <laughs> because nobody can wear it. Uh, well, I found another bug with your ROM hack, <laughs> creator. The fucking XOR ring is unequipable for some reason. I mean, honestly, it, it's a breath of fresh air to play this after all that battling. Yeah, I, I kind of regret not getting the, um, the sheep attack now. We're also gonna find out if there's actually any good, like, items in here, because I don't know. A silver bar, that's just money. I don't really need that. Got a 1-up. I guess that's a good replacement for the 1-up I lost earlier. 
frog coin. Just don't need that, obviously. Power scarf, that's a new one. And a flower. What the fuck is the f power scarf? Blocks fatal hits. So it's uh, a physical version. It's a physical version of the magic scarf. It's not very great though. Oh, so I can see like the barrier. I can see like the boundaries of the level. <laughs> going on there? <laughs> Why can't I see, like, the boundaries of the level? Very strange. Er I always hated how slow this is. Cosmic Melody. Okay, we don't need that. We definitely don't need more Cosmic Melodies. I can sell some of this stuff when I get to the next shop. This is why I hate using these things in Bandit's way as well. What? How did you miss that? Come on. Er, fuck. Got a one-up. That's That was not worth it. Fuck, dude. Not worth it, still. Just get me over there, bro. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we're not gonna find out what that last one is. A sonic symbol! Is that good? Is that a good weapon? 48 attack, speed 6, inflicts mute magic defense boost. No, that is not good. That is not good at all. If it increases magic attack by 48, then I would consider it good. Okay, let's do the other let's do the other battle rooms then. Um after I use the bathroom. Alright, so I just had um a few cookies, I went to the bathroom. And now I'm back, and we have to deal with five fucking Goombas. They're called Castle Goombas, interestingly. And Marissa lost her hat. Hmm. So I think the way to actually, um... Do this... Is to take out each Goomba... One by one, because they, uh... They all target you with counterattacks if you go for them. And you assholes have Fungus Spike. That is really rude. Man, what did Gino do to you guys? Bro. The hell did Gino do to you guys? Well, I got some sh sh shroom reins, we'll be fine. Bro, I just finished! Okay, so no, targeting them all at once, it doesn't matter. It does not fucking matter. Oh my god, will you guys ever stop? They never stop. They never stop attacking. Wow, and I thought being I thought being less aggressive was the way to go, but nope. It turns out being less aggressive is actually worse. And they're back at it again. Yeah, you know, honestly, at this point, I might as well just reload my state and redo that fight because that was fucking bullshit. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a star boost because we need to look up our defense. Yeah, we need to galaxy blast them turn one as well.
Yes, I could have Bowser out to distract them, but that's no fun. <laughs> They still do 210, though. <laughs> That's still ass. They still do a lot of damage. And the fact they have Fungus Spike is really fucking annoying. <laughs> you know, I really wish Poison could overwrite the effects of Mushrooms, but whatever. Alright, it looks like I finally get a turn. <laughs> I really do wish the star egg would, um... I really do wish the star egg would actually overwrite stuff. Like, it over- it gets rid of the statuses. Man. <laughs> Dude, he can't he can't guard against poison or carny kiss anyway. Oh, guess Mario's still a mushroom. Is Mallow's probably dead? No, he lives with 51. <laughs> Kind of wish I had the mushroom protection on Mario now. <laughs> We're gonna have to slowly kill these Gumbas with one icy snowman at a time. And also, ha a bit of luck involved, too. I'd actually prefer if they killed Mario at this rate. Because, you know, he's stuck as a frickin' mushroom. And now Gino's stuck as a mushroom. Great. Just what I wanted to see. And everything was going so well, too. Oh, no. <laughs> Well, um, looks like I got a Shroom Rain, then. I love how I use a Shroom Rain, and then they just immediately go back to fucking spamming. Like, what the fuck? Okay, nope, nope, we're loading that again. I have to have Mushroom Protection, bro. Do I have something that protects against Mushroomization? Nulls all effect and element damage. I don't really have anything that protects against uh, statuses. Well, I would put on the Exor Ring, but that doesn't work, does it? <laughs> Inflicts fear, mute, poison, or sleep against opponents. Man, I guess I could try the Diamond. Well, no, the Diamond Ring clearly doesn't work. Let me look at let me look at Lazy Shell. Is the diamond ring just a flat-out lie? Where is a diamond ring? It says it protects against mushroom. So then why does it... Why does, um... It go through it? Like, it clearly says it prevents effects. I don't get... I don't understand this game, bro. <laughs> Why don't, um, why don't the effects even work? Hmm. Could try the ghost metal. Actually, no, if anything, if anything, we need to have Peach on our team then, so we can get rid of that shit. Yeah, I mean, I can keep the experience booster. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why, though, but for some reason the diamond ring doesn't protect against statuses. It doesn't fucking make any sense. 
And I have the I have this freaking armor that prevents fear. And yet that doesn't do shit either. So what the fuck is going on? Why is the hardest loadout in this entire castle five fucking Goombas? I don't know. But that's just how it is, and it's really freaking annoying. <laughs> You know what I could do, actually? I have an idea, actually. <laughs> Let's use an awakening. And then we'll use, um, a shroom, a star wind. Yeah, let's do that. Get rid of these assholes. Stop these assholes from, uh, killing me. Yes, I'm using a red essence on five Goombas, because these are the most annoying enemies in this entire dungeon. I mean, that's also annoying. The fact that, you know, Mallow can just... Now it takes a lot more damage now, unfortunately. Well, he's dead anyways. The sooner we get rid of these Goombas, the sooner I can get through this damn dungeon, bro. You know what? Let's try Galaxy Jump. For shits and giggles. I mean, they're Goombas. They're probably weak to jump, right? Oh yeah, that was pretty good. No, no holding back. We gotta use the icy snowman. We need to get rid of these Goombas sooner or later. They're still living, unfortunately. This is really bad. <laughs> Alright, more poison. Oh my god. Okay, now we can Star Egg. Like the rare instance where I think using Galaxy Jump is actually Galaxy Brain. <laughs> Not gonna attack the Goomba on the right? Okay. Finally, we're done with this shitty loadout. That was like the worst loadout of this entire game, bro, I'm telling you. We might have to do it again because there's more. <laughs> there's more shitty enemies. Actually, this loadout is chill. Dude, this loadout was like piss easy in comparison. Like, what the hell, man? Um, yeah, let's just uh, use Galaxy Blast. I guess I should have thought about the fact that Galaxy Jump is actually a lot better than I gave it credit for. I 
mean, especially against Koopas and Goombas, you know? Not gonna attack the big guy in the back? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Why are they immune to jump? Hello? Why did they take nothing from jump? That doesn't make any fucking sense. That was weird. Why did the Koopa only take four damage from jump? It's a weird ass interaction, man. <laughs> no damage. Alright, you guys gotta go. Like, tic-tac, gotta go. I think I already made that joke. Yeah, and, and throw a rock, too, why don't ya? I kinda- I probably won't even be able to beat Exor today. Although, maybe I will, I don't know. I'll see. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Man, he's getting levels quickly. Alright. We can finally switch her out. Because, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Alright, swap these around. Yeah, keep the... I mean, honestly, I don't know what's better. The amulet's pretty good. Well, since we know the diamond ring doesn't fucking work, uh, the amulet is better. <laughs> well, no, this prevents elemental damage, though. Still wish the XR ring worked, though. That would be nice. It's so weird, though. Why does it not work? Also, this is a pretty easy loadout, because there's booze from, like, the second area in the game for no reason. And I need FP, so... I guess we're using Star Egg again. Yeah, honestly, these guys aren't that strong. <laughs> no, not the Galaxy... No, Star Egg. I get Star Egg and Galaxy Blast mixed up for some reason, because they're both, like, star-based things in my head. <laughs> well, it's nice to have an easy loadout once in a while. Holy water. Oh, yeah, right, the booze drop that. Is this the six slingshot or the five slingshot loadout? <laughs> I've always loved this loadout just because they're in such a weird V shape. That is some good damage. Doom Reverb. Wow, 11 damage. You absolute twat. Man, I'm kind of hating how slow Mario is now, because he can't do shit. Mushroomization is so fucking important in this game, man. Well, the ability to ne to negate mushroomization, I mean. Hmm, this probably won't be that tough. It's just a just a, it's just some shyaways and ch and funny chompies. They're so, uh, weak, I forgot what their names are, even. Um, 
Naval Piranha. Never mind, their name got changed, so I don't know what they're called. Well, they're called Chewies, normally. Which just makes me think of Star Wars. Oh, and then they're dead. <laughs> well, Naval Piranha doesn't make much sense either. <laughs> because that's a frickin' boss from Yoshi's Island. Yo, it's Mr. Kipper, the best enemy in the game. Wow, one damage. How threatening. I mean, these guys might still be a little threatening. Never mind. <laughs> They are not threatening. Okay, we're immune to elements, just straight up. I love how elements are not threatening anymore. And physical attacks are actually the things I have to worry about. <laughs> it's kind of the opposite problem that I've been having in most of, uh, most of the Mario RPG stuff I played. Okay, yeah, we might still need to, um, star egg. It's interesting, because, like, I don't know if it's because of how- I don't, I don't know if it's because of the way magic was buffed in this game, or if I'm just- if it's just because I'm building a magic build for everybody. But Mario's magic is usually way better. But, no, nah, not, not in this one. <laughs> like, his physicals suck, and his magic is really good. Oh no, you got you fucking kidding me, dude. Why? Why are you doing that? Don't do that. I need to stop you from doing that. <laughs> okay, well there goes one of them. One forty two. Yeah, it's like not that's like no damage, bro. Alright, there we go. Gino is all forty now, hell yeah. Oh, this is the like the easiest Lodo ever, by the way. Two Amanitas and an Orbison. Like the the most piss easy enemies of all time. Should've replaced it with blue Amanitas, then it would've actually made sense. Actually, wait, I could do sleepy time. <laughs> Cause I stole this move from Peach, and now Mallow's using it. And it's, it's actually pretty good, too. And you're gonna be an asshole. Boing. Get out of here. See, I'm, I'm using some physicals now. <laughs> yeah, they gave, like, no experience. Well, Peach definitely benefited from it. Oh, boy, we have an enemy. We have an enemy from the factory now. Why do you have that? Why do you have that? That's not good. I was probably gonna get like three turns. <laughs> we definitely need to use Star Ruin on this loadout, I can already tell. Oh, right, and that inflicts fear, even though I'm immune to fear, which it makes a lot of sense still. <laughs> Yeah, he actually does damage. Oh, but he's weak to poison, though. Reap. Oh, he has in- he has a- he has a... Oko move. So, Scythe is re Scythe is just a, you know, a normal move, but Reap- Reap is now the instant KO move. <laughs> and it looks really anticlimactic. 
Okay, at least the, at least the Greepers are gone now. Well, oh, still did decent damage. And then you have this weak ass move <laughs> that won't do anything because I'm immune. Mm, let's do Raijin Whirl. He's obviously immune to it, though. They made more enemies immune to, um... Immune to frickin' what you call it? Uh, Geno Whirl, yeah. Geno Whirl immunity on regular enemies. This guy's gonna take a while to kill, isn't he? Actually, wait a minute, I'm stupid. Hold up. Why didn't I just do this turn one? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> well, at least we know what he's capable of when we have to go to the factory and fight him. Sparkies. Well, they're, these are pyrospheres. Take a dump. Do, 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 do. Lol. No damage. Oh, I actually do damage still. No damage. <laughs> Again. He's got not these guys having like 1500 health for no reason because they have no defense. Which is pretty humorous, honestly. Eleven hundred damage, and they're still not dead. <laughs> you done? You done taking your turns yet? There we go. Pretty easy stuff right there. Oh, and I got a free one up for my troubles. You know what? Just because I can, I'm gonna use a. Uh, one of my star caracolas, because I have to get rid of those somehow. I mean, I could get rid of them, or I can just sell them. Either is fine. Although, I do have a silver bar in my inventory. And these guys are still faster than me somehow? How are you guys faster? I don't know. It's kind of annoying, though. <laughs> I mean, they're Lakitu, so I guess it makes sense. But they're not very strong. <laughs> As you can see. It's like one of the easiest loadouts in the whole dungeon. Oh, Star Friend. I mean, Star Friend's not gonna be very strong. I think I'm just gonna fight Cody and maybe call it a day. That's what I sometimes do. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just do your healing, whatever. <laughs> like I give a shit. Oh, they're still, they're still kicking. Okay, you can do your healing, whatever, yada, yada, yada. I think Diamond Saw is a cooler name, honestly. Blizzard should have gotten a buff. It's kind of weak. Okay, well, I guess we're out of one of them. The monster is mute. Yeah, how does it feel to be muted? I mean, I have barely... I've never dealt with mute, really, in this game. It's almost never been a problem, for the most part. Oh, you're gonna be that guy. I'll just whack you in the face with my stick. Oh, and he retaliates with flame if you go for a physical attack. Great. I mean, that won't do anything, but sure. You do you, Shaman. You're gonna die soon. There we go.
go. Honestly, I don't know how you'd be able to do this without a star egg. Without the star egg. The star egg makes this so much more bearable. I just couldn't imagine it. Well, we're in the 40s now. That's not bad. Alright. Another shaman. This is the loadout with six of them. Which is gonna take forever. It's gonna take a million years before I'm done with this loadout. Because they're all going to heal. Yeah. And that's, that's very uncool, honestly. <laughs> Alright, just, just kinda gotta wait it out a bit. <laughs> yep, just, get, just give it a bit. Just, just give it a bit more. They'll die eventually. <laughs> Alright, I'm bored. Wow! That is some good damage, man. And you're gonna do flame and some other BS that I don't care about. Wait, what? What did I just do? What did I just get? I got a flower or some shit, I don't know. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter, they're dead. Alright, so for our trouble, we get the Star Aura for Gina, which is his best weapon. Wait. Have boosted stats entering battle. No all element damage. Wait. Oh, this is this isn't a weapon. This is a, this is an accessory. I thought that was Gino's best weapon, but I guess not. Uh. So it's basically this, but better. Oh my god, that is really good. <laughs> I don't even need- I don't even need uh, to worry about that. Okay, and I'm gonna- I kinda wanna get the... No, I do not want that door. I mean, it'd be nice to know what's beyond there, but... Yeah. Uh, Star Breeze. I get rid of the Lime Shroom. Um... Room rain, huh? I already have enough of those, honestly. Ugh. I hate that the camera, like, is shitty in this room. Don't need that. <laughs> Don't need that either. Alright. This room is a little annoying as well. Don't need that. <laughs> Fuck. Oops, I forgot. You don't need to, um... Need to hold anything there. Fuck. Why can't I make that jump? Hello? There we go. This is not worth it, I imagine. <laughs> Oh, no, never mind, it was. I got a, I got an awakening. Damn it, I'm not, I'm not gonna make it out of here, am I? Okay, okay, never mind, we're good, we're good. Flower. I appreciate the flower, honestly. Can I, can I go over there, please? Isn't there like a, isn't there like a block down there? Alright, there's another block here. Don't need that. 
I might end up killing myself trying to get down here, but I need to see if there's anything over here. No, there's nothing over here. Shite. T shoot. Fuck. Might have to redo this room, actually. Nah. <laughs> save, save Scummit. I mean, if I remember correctly, you're safe here when you, um, hug the walls anyway. Oh, I fucking hate when that happens, bro. That's so annoying. When you're just about to hit him, and that shit happens. There we go. Yeah, that that that's happened to me a few times, and it's really annoying when it does. Super slap. But that's shitty. That's Peach's, like, worst weapon. <laughs> So, what was the point of that then, huh? That was not worth it. Wait, hang on. Big brain. Since we know the super slap is shit, how about I just fail on purpose, and then we go check out what's behind door number five instead? Right? Because the super slap's terrible, you never want to get that. Alright. Okay, we're playing the fast game here, huh? Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I think he I think he fucked himself. Yep. <laughs> Easy peasy. Oh wait, no, I think I cocked it up. Oh, we're good. I, 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 made a, I made a comeback. <laughs> is this the boo- No, this is ball solitaire. I thought this was boo, boo, kip, and bones, or the fuck. Boo, goo, kip, and bones. Alright. My favorite, ball solitaire. <laughs> Every now and then, I do cock this minigame up. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think I, I think I fucked up, actually. <laughs> I think I fucked this minigame up. Yep. Okay. Good thing I did good thing I saved them, because I knew I'd, I knew I'd mess this up. Oh, wow. I didn't know you could fuck it up that badly. <laughs> wow. That's good to know. Hmm. What else can we do? I think I fucked this up again. Yeah, I fucked it up again. Why am I so bad at this today? I'm usually like pretty decent at this. I don't know. it up again. I can't bowl solitaire today, guys. I don't know why. Usually I'm, like, really good at this minigame, but apparently not today. <laughs> I don't know, man. Okay, 
hang on. This might be it, actually. Like I got it that time. So is this, what is this then? If it's not a galaxy blast, it's, oh, you get, that's how you get the star gun. They changed the order of it. Although it does lower his magic attack for some reason. Poison's target and gives magic attack boost. Oh, that's already worth it then. So we only missed out on Bowser's ultimate weapon, which, I mean, who the fuck cares? Yeah. I gained three levels when I was in there. Okay, so in terms of what I want, I think this is fine. This float up's fine, honestly. I guess I'll use one of my cosmic melodies because I can. Alright. We'll see how the Cody fight goes. Well, we can start off with um, a star boost. Will-O-Wisp? Isn't that a fire attack? Um, well, apparently it can turn me into a Scarecrow. Alright, so how much health does Cody have? Let's find out. 8,000. That's kind of low, honestly. <laughs> Surprisingly a low amount. Scarecrow was bad early game because of my low FP, but now that I have infinite FP, it's not really a concern. I feel like this boss is going to be pretty fucking easy. Just because of uh, all the dumb shit I can do. Six, six, six. And also we have elemental immunity, so that also helps. I mean, sure, I become a scarecrow, but I'm gonna be using magic attacks anyway, so what does it matter? I love that sleepy time does damage, that actually makes it worthwhile to use. I mean, that's not very much actually, but whatever. No damage. Four twenty, man, we're getting all the funny numbers today. I mean that's on you, Cody, for using all these elemental attacks, because you can't do shit to me. Oh, he's immune to ice. Okay, well, that sucks. Is he immune to all the elements? We're gonna we're gonna pull a Jackie on him and just go spam Cosmo Star until the Moo Moos come home. <laughs> Oh yeah, so good news is we figured out, um, why Aaron kept crashing on Insane Cart Wii. And apparently, custom race.ses is what causes, um, people to not be able to play on Insane Cart Wii. Now here's the thing, I thought it was, like, track edits, or, like, texture edits. But it's actually, it's in actuality, uh, the custom race.ses, which... I guess now we finally figured out that that's what it was. Four twenty again. <laughs> Wait, so does he not have the um he does not do the summoning gimmick anymore. So that's gonna make this boss fight kind of brain dead, honestly.
There's not even a challenge here. It's just that he's just a damage sponge. Okay, well, he does have explosion, I guess, but <laughs> that's about it. Besides that, though, he ain't doing anything to me. <laughs> Should've just played the regular enemy music <laughs> at this point. Oops, dropped it really early there. Yeah, I mean, the only one who's taking damage here is Mallow, but he doesn't even take that much damage either, because he has the Star Cloak on. But yeah, it's basically just a nerfed Lazy Shell. <laughs> no damage. Okay, now he's doing the summoning gimmick. Good, so this fight isn't completely brain dead. And he still summons the Bahamut. Which is probably weak to the ice. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm ready to do, like, two more long-ass bosses today. So... It probably would be for the best if I just call it here. At the same time, it's so tempting, but I also kind of want to get lunch, so, yeah. You're probably immune to it. Oh, well, he's dead. <laughs> okay, Cody, Cody is getting a little more aggressive. That's good. Is he immune to lightning? Let's find out. He's immune to lightning. Okay, well, that confirms that. I mean, I guess that makes sense. He's been using lightning and ice spells the entire time. Nice 382. Every time I see Glaciite, I keep thinking it's going to do Solidify, because that's what it makes me think of. Alright, um, let's do Data Drain again. Oh, he's almost dead, actually. <laughs> Boom. It's like no damage. Wow, that actually does decent damage. For a physical. Yeah, gas press ain't gonna do anything, bro. <laughs> no damage? <laughs> this fight really just- this- this- it's, it's impossible to make this fight difficult, <laughs> I swear. Oh, and I'm- oh yeah, the fear is kind of dicking me over now, isn't it? No matter how hard you try, you can't make this fight tough, for whatever reason. I mean, this was already one of the easiest fights in, you know, the vanilla game. But it's still easy, because he... All of his attacks, I'm just immune to. And he barely summons at all. He summoned one dude, and that's it. It's only, it's only a matter of time before I finally kill him. Boing. There, yeah, he's dead. <laughs> easiest boss fight so far. Well, one of the easiest. I got a fire tab, too. Yeah. I died. Oh yeah, isn't this guy called, like, Wizakoopa in the remake? 
The funny infinite chest. Well, I mean, you know, if I want one coin at a time, I have a source. Anyways, Croco has the best shop. He has the hero suit for Mario, the noble garb for Mallow. Noble garb. Cosmic cape, empire shell, royal dress. I mean, the question is, is it better than what I have right now? Uh, technically yes, because this shit doesn't even protect against fear. Yep, <laughs> better. It's better then. Because this game is a fucking this game fucking lies to me, bro. It doesn't even give me any doesn't give me anything. Can't carry more. Oh yeah, right. I need to sell some stuff like the silver bars, these cosmic melodies, uh, the holy water. Um, Star Breeze? I don't need Star Breeze. That should be good. So, this shop's actually a little underwhelming, honestly. The Metal Spirit. Well, actually, it might be, it might be worth getting the uh, Cosmic Cape, then. Yeah, I'll get it. Do I already have I already have uh, element immunity? All right, <laughs> so I don't need the sonic symbol. That's kind of shit. And I don't need the metal spirit anymore. I don't think. And I don't need the Nimbus vest. So we're back up to nine thousand coins. <laughs> hey, I mean, if there's something that's worth nine thousand coins, I'd buy it. You know what? I think I can keep going. Yeah. Let's go fight let's go fight Boomer, because he's probably not gonna be that bad, honestly. It's Exor that I'm worried about. I mean I also gotta worry about these damn these damn bullet bills. Yep, there they are. Aw, oh, so close. I mean I could just run. <laughs> yeah, screw that nonsense. Ha ha ha. He has like, um, he has like a flag glitching out on him. Alright, let's start off with a good old star boost. And I messed up the timing, apparently. Alright. Let's see how much health he has. It's all over now. 6,000. Yeah, Boomer is still pathetically weak. Mortal draw. <laughs> oh, good to see that still does like, like a fuck ton of health. That's actually a badass name, Mortal Draw. Actually, what is it? What is it called in the Japanese version? Yeah, I need to look that up now. Actually, it's called Shaker normally, but it, they, it, it's it's got a way cooler name in um, the Japanese version, if I remember correctly. Also, good news is my Paper Jam video is done rendering, finally. So the Paper Jam finale is done, I think. I mean, I'll have a look at it later, but let's see. Alright, Mario Wiki. I don't know why it's taking so long to load. Jeez. <laughs> Shaker. It's called Swallow Reversal. Which, the you know, as I didn't know what that was. <laughs> but now that I've played um, Ninja Gaiden... It's a much cooler name, actually. <laughs> Alright, so... 
I have decided that I'm gonna actually make lunch right now. So, I'm gonna be fighting Boomer while I'm making fries and chicken. <laughs> so, hope you guys don't mind that. And yes, I am going to be eating fries with a fork again. Because that's just a big joke. <laughs> I mean, look, I'm gonna be eating lunch while playing. You don't- I don't want my controller to get dirty, bro. Like, if I was just watching or something, then yeah, maybe I would, but... I don't know, man. Either way, um... A random thing that I thought about while I was away... See, this is the great thing about taking breaks, I can come up with material to talk about when I come back. <laughs> but, I was thinking about- I was thinking today about- actually, it was last night, right? Last night, I was thinking about how, you know, the Miles Edgeworth collection comes out soon. Also, by the way, he's almost dead. <laughs> he's like a quarter dead already. So the Miles Edgeworth games are coming to all the platforms, which is honestly great. I was really hoping they would, because those games are fantastic. Especially the second one. And... I was- I- I, I had the thought, like... Like, I thought, like, oh shit, what are the, um... What are the, you know, translated characters gonna sound like? <laughs> because, the, obviously, they can't use the fan dub voices. And, you know, I- I've, um... I've become so, like, familiar and attached to, like, the voices in the fan translation for Investigations 2 that, um, anything new is just kind of weird. Ooh, that was a good super jump. So he just fucking does moral draw every time. <laughs> That's really funny. Okay, he's, he's doing... he's doing some normal attacks. There's probably like a harder version of Boomer somewhere. I don't know. Because this is way too easy. Boomer is like one of the easiest freaking bosses in the game normally. I mean, you thought, you thought Cody was easy? Boomer is like even easier, bro. And it's such a shame, because he has such an awesome design. And you never get to see it for very long, because you hit him, like, twice, and then he's dead. <laughs> so, it's just, it's just a massive shame, really. And I was also thinking, I was thinking about asking Seb if he wanted to do GTA. If he wanted to do GTA after, after I'm done with this. Because I'm also kind of in a GTA mood, honestly. And then, because here's the thing, um, around this time on Sundays, Zach's always doing, um, he's always doing, like, Mario Kart Sundays. So, obviously that's not gonna work. <laughs> I can't ask him to do something, so I was like, well, we'll ask, uh, we'll ask Seb to play some GTA. And if not, you know, then whatever, big deal. Then I'll just, you know, have some free time. Also, uh, I should really heal, honestly. Like, yeah, it'd probably be a very wise decision to heal right now. If I didn't heal, I'd probably regret it. Especially because I don't remember if they heal you in between the x fight or not. That'd be a fun, rude surprise. You know, you get to the x fight, your characters are almost dead, and then he one-shots you. There you go. <laughs> the fucking sad music. Hello! Boing boing. Oh yeah, what, what was he called? Wait, actually, yeah, what is he called in the remake? The Chandelier Shy Guys? Shand Chandelier guy? I don't know. Oh, I think it's Shindelier or something. 
Can I can I can I uh, double check that actually? Let me let me look. <laughs> Chandelier-ho. Yeah, it is Shindelier. <laughs> so they didn't bother um they didn't bother translating the name, so yeah. Hanging shy. Well, they just straight up removed that dialogue, okay. Alright, here's the bot here's the fight I was worried about. Wow, great timing. My uh my food is like half done. Alright, so my food is in the process of being cooked. <laughs> Anyways. Um Obviously, we gotta start out this fight with a star boost. <laughs> That's like just the thing you have to do. Because if you don't do that, then everything's gonna go wrong. <laughs> Including this fight. The monster is mute. The monster is mute. The monster is mute. Don't tell me this Exor fight's gonna be piss easy. Come on now. I really hope not. I mean, he's gonna do something at least, right? Okay. The mouth- the mouth did something. Alright, here, just for shits and giggles, I wanna see how much, um, health the eyes have. 700. I've got an astigmatism. <laughs> I think I'm pretty sure their dialogue is better in the in the uh, Japanese version. The Japanese slash remake. Oh yeah, that's kind of the problem. With Ultra Jump is um, it ends up attacking Xor by accident when you don't want it to. Well, that's that's free, free easy damage. He had to have fixed the Xor glitch, right? Xor's protection's gone. His protection's gone. No. <laughs> like the game, the game is either like very. Oh, that went great. Wait, Exor has attacks now? Oh, shit. Also, can I jump on Exor? Yes, I can. Yeah, Exor can attack now, but he doesn't do anything. Because <laughs> I'm immune to elements. Oh, shit, what is he doing? And the question is, can I still use Geno Whirl on him? Nope, he is actually immune. That's good. That This means he'll be able to actually be a fair fight, then. And how much health does he have? And I messed up the timing. 9,000! Okay, that's, that's understandable. Is that all you're gonna do, is bolt? Yeah. Okay, okay, that's an interesting spell he got there. So yeah, he's actually doing something. Sword Storm. Okay, now that... Now that's actually a threatening attack. <laughs> that I can deal with. See, he actually made Exor competent. That's what we like to see here. <laughs> Alright, so I had the thought of... How long... How long would it take me... To, um... How long would it take me to, like, cook something while I'm actually streaming? Because sometimes I like to make, um, like, sidekicks, and those take, like, 10 to 15 minutes to make. Because it takes, like, 5 minutes to boil, and then it takes, like, another 8 minutes to cook it. Then I have to come back, wait another 5 minutes for it to, you know, cool off and, you know, dry up a bit. So it, it can take a little bit. That's the thing. That's why I was kind of wondering, like, 
I wonder how much people would mind. I don't think people would mind because nobody fucking watches this stuff. Oh, the eyes are back. Oh, crap. Well, time to jump then. Okay, that's some pretty good damage. <laughs> His protection's gone already. Alright, lightsaber. That's, uh, that's another competent move you got there. Six hundred ninety-six, damn. Alright, well, Exor is not really much of a threat. 385. <laughs> you know, hell, I could probably even super jump him. What do you mean the monster's mute? Yeah, I get it. I get it. The monster's mute. <laughs> That's gonna be. That's really awkward to do, though. <laughs> no, my uh, my buffs. Fuck you, Exor. Don't do that. Don't get rid of my buffs. How dare you? Has anybody ever gotten a hundred jumps on Exor? <laughs> I'd love to see that. That's that's probably like a stupid video. I always find it funny how Exor is technically a background, and the eyes, mouth, and Exor himself are just, like, random sprites layered on top. Like, if I'm not mistaken, I believe Exor is just the two eyeballs at the top. Which I always found kind of funny. 1200, oh my god. See, now Exor would be a lot more threatening if he actually used something besides Bolt. You know? Like, I don't know, I'd make him use, like, something. Oh, he has regenerate. Oh, shit. He's actually, he's actually going at it a little more. I mean, I'm pretty sure I still do more damage, though, with my star shower. Yeah, 696. So, his healing doesn't really do much. Oh, shit, we might need to heal after this. Heal my FP, that is. Yeah, 5457 is pretty good. I mean, I have a Star Carol Cole. I might as well get rid of it. It's technically faster. Oh, and I got a freebie when I don't need it. <laughs> Thanks, game. Yeah, that 696 is really good. Alright, how close is he to dying? Let's find out. Maybe I can actually get the tattle in, too. 3600. I actually have a mechanic. <laughs> that's, that's new, right? I remember him saying that in the original. Okay. The eyes have not gotten a chance to attack at all. They come back, and then they just die. Nah, I'm not even gonna block. I don't need a block. If he's just gonna do Sword Rain again, I'm ready for it, man. <laughs> His protection's gone again. I don't know. Yeah, do a cosmic star. Are we gonna have the monster is mute four times in a row? 
Yeah, I, I heard you the first time, game. You don't need to repeat it. I'm pretty happy with how my strong my jump has gone. It's doing like 386 now. Ah! Oh shit, he's healing! Yeah, I mean, that definitely hurts, but it's no match for me, that's for sure. This <laughs> is just jamming out now. Like, I don't know how they, they, they managed to make this song sound so epic, yet so groovy at the same time. And also, like, threatening as well. Oh. Hey, guess what? My, uh, my, uh, my f chicken and fries are half done, guys. Alright, they're almost done now. <laughs> so... We're gonna play for like another four minutes or so. And I mean, hopefully I can finish up the boss by then. Bro, you can't just keep regenerating like that. Oh shit, he actually has a decent move, Rock Slide. That's actually a threatening one. <laughs> Good. I caught my parent. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. <laughs> he was like two hits away. I caught my parents watching um, a Fallout show in the living room. You know, Fallout's more of my dad's thing. But, whatever. <laughs> Alright, well that was, that was, uh, oh, finally she learned Mute. That is so useless now. Bro, <laughs> why is she now learning Mute? Alright, well, this is the factory. <laughs> I like how in the remake, it actually makes a Bowser noise, you're like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I like how Bowser is now like Eggman in Sonic, where they've had their voice actor for like longer than the original actors. Actually, no, that doesn't make any sense, because Mario's been around longer than Bowser, because we had Scott Burns in the GameCube era, so never mind. But you know how, like, like, because, like, after Mar after Charles left and we have Kevin Afghani, you know, Bowser is still being voiced by the same guy. Alright, well, we'll have to leave the epic music for some other time, but I honestly think this is a great note to end things on. Uh, I'll do some prep work next time, probably. You know what else I'm gonna do? I'm gonna fix the fucking XOR ring. I'm gonna actually go into the game, I'm gonna edit it, and I'm gonna save it. Because, yeah, I need to fix the frickin' XOR ring breaking. I mean, hopefully, I'm, I'm, I'll make a backup of the game just in case, but, like, the come on, bro. How, how, did that, how did that get past testing? The XOR ring not working properly. Anyways. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe to me on YouTube and Twitch, as always. Uh, I'm gonna go bug Seb and see if he wants to play GTA today. If not, um, I guess I have free time, because later tonight I also want to try and play PvZ with, with Zach. but I don't know if he's caught up or not. I guess we'll find out. So anyways, guys, um, I'll see you later tonight, definitely. Like, I know I'm gonna do something, at least. I don't know what yet, but... We're gonna figure that out. So anyways, um, I'll see you guys then. So, take care and uh, have a good one.